Yeah, okay, now I've got a long shot going on because I've got my uh, phone set up in some way, in some cattywampus way, and it's going to fall. We're going to go to fade to black pretty quickly. Um, I have several, several, several thoughts on the Democratic debate. My first question, though, does Tom Steyer own anything but the one tie? I mean, look at me looking around like this, like a cautious driver. Steyer, on every single ad, on every ad, every campaign, everything, every state, he's got one tie. The guy's a billionaire, and he's got one tie. And I'm not even kidding. People, look, pay attention to this. The guy's got one. He gave away all his money in the giving punch. Hey, save a couple of bucks, go to Macy's, get a tie. Gee, many Christmas. Um, that's Tom Steyer. The next thing is... Well, hey, Bernie and Fidel, the only thing good about Fidel Castro is he likes baseball, and baseball's an American game, so that's the only thing good about Fidel Castro. I don't want to hear about the literacy program. Bernie Sanders, I'm sorry to say this, is a curmudgeon. He's a dick, and if you listen to the way he talks, he's kind of a cocky, arrogant prick, so... I hate to say that, but it's true. Listen to the guy talk. Uh, but the way they, they're like school children at the debate. They're all raising, oh, ooh, me, me, me. They're like Arnold Horshack and Welcome Back Carter. The only cool kid on the, and the whole entire panel was Buttigieg, who would raise his hand like this, like, hey, I got a question. But you got Joe Biden, like, doing a Nazi salute. I, I didn't mean that. Not like a Nazi Nazi salute, but crazy. So, Tom Steyer? Dude, climate change, great. How about changing your tie? Tie change. Forget climate change. Let's go to tie change, okay? I'll bet it's a freaking clip-on. Did you get that? Did that? Is that like a like a artifact from your father? Did your grandfather give it to you? Get a different tie. Holy moly. Biden, he's done. I Listen, old Joe, and I'm not being an ageist, but old Joe, he's been a failed candidate six, seven times. He doesn't have the, the, the wherewithal on stage to really go back and forth. I'm going to tell you right now, Dems, I'm not a Democrat, but I'm going to tell you right now, Bloomberg, Bloomberg, he's a rich New York elitist. Uh, he was a Republican five years ago. I mean, you guys, I got to tell you right now, your best ticket's Klobuchar, Buttigieg. That's really your best ticket. Other than that, you're effed. You are completely effed. You got a candidate who can't change a tie. You got a candidate who can't remember his name. You got a dicky socialist running? People, come on. I liked it better when fucking Elizabeth Warren was an Indian. Native American.